Hi, I'm about to welcome to my channel Africa every day. For today's episode, I'll be making a video about the shrines, shrines of different gods that we have in Yoruba culture. I'll also be showing you an introduction of the way that a herbalist or a juju man or normally call Babalao, how they contact, how they contact Ifa for information and also for divination. That's what I'll be showing you today. And now uh, also how sacrifices are made to them and the kind of things, the kind of animals that are used to make sacrifices to them and what the uh, the deities the original we'll call deities we we'll call them orishas orishas like, uh, like they're like the messenger the subordinate of god which is called elidumari so we're going to be looking at that today before we start i would like to show my full appreciation to mr michael thomas and all other my patrons thank you so much for supporting me i'm very grateful for all of you thank you so much i really appreciate it i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below i'll surely answer your question and if you have any suggestion put it in the comment section below i'll surely attend to it all right let's go that's the move nearer. Move nearer. Open there. Open there. You see? Not if you want it, that's what I want. I'm going to go to the way. 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 Kadeya <laughs> And the beard in the babu, we can't be the Buddha in Buru. After what day, the Buru was in Bowl of Sigma or the Bayou. You know, when you go up with me, you really want you, I could do Bawa Bew. Oh, thou, I could call out Banu Buffet or Mela Banu Bill. I told your daughter to her daughter. You didn't like it, would you put up with it? Taba Fed Dafa and why is the Alright, still talking about different gods and goddesses that we have in, uh, in Yoruba culture. So, this one is a goddess that is called Osha Osho. Yeah. We represent the Osha Osho, which is a goddess. Osha Umi, the Lado. Alright. It's believed in Yoruba culture that uh, if there is any kind of pandemic, one sacrifice is made to this goddess, then the problem will be solved. It's a very paramount and important goddess. Okay, this is another deity, another goddess in Yoruba culture. Like uh, this one that is called Oya. 
This goddess is called Oya, and according to mythology, it is the wife of Shango, which is popularly called the God of Thunder. As you can see, that uh, this effigy is representing a female persona that will have a goddess. We can have a situation where a family will be worshipping just one of these, or in some cases, they'll be worshipping many, uh, many deities that will have Yoruba language. So, this the our statue that represents Oya as a goddess in Yoruba culture. Il <coughs> I can, I can record the recipe, inshallah. Yeah. Action. Alright. Okay. So we are in another shrine now. This is another shrine and we have a god here. Now this god particularly is called Eshu. And now in Yoruba culture we call this one Eshu. Devil, Satan, whatever name you want to give it, Satan. And the purpose of this god is that it is uh, used to send an attack to someone. For example, now somebody wants to fight you and you want to strike them back, you can command by doing the necessary sacrifices for this God to go and attack the person, whoever the person is. That is the belief of a Yoruba culture. Then right here we have another one. This one is also called devil. But the difference between this devil and this devil is that uh, there are some things that this devil, this one can be said, cannot be said. This one is used to, is used to, it used to beg a lady to marry. A lady marry is what we call God. That they should do whatever you want. Probably you are looking for wealth or children. This is the devil that you come to, the issue that will come to, to give you those things that you are looking for after you performed the necessary sacrifices. All these goddesses, they require different sacrifices. Like for example now, what we used to sacrifice Shango is different from what we used to sacrifice issue and uh, Oya and other gods and goddesses that we have in mm -hmm. the Okay, this is another god, another deity in Yoruba culture. This and one now is called Ogun. It yeah. is an Ogun goddess and it's one of the most powerful god in Yoruba culture. It's one of the most powerful and also the most popular. The other one that I can say is as popular as Ogun is the a god of thunder which we call Shongu. Now, to, sac to make a sacrifice to this god now, there are some things you can use to make sacrifices and there are some things that you cannot use to make sacrifices. One of those things that you cannot use to make sacrifices is to put vegetable oil on this. For example, it is believed that if you put vegetable oil on this god, you are going to be struck dead. You can also, you can use a uh, cat to fast sacrifices for this god. But something that you can use now, uh, you can use dove, you can use pigeon, you can use some other animals for making sacrifices. And once you make sacrifices, then you can ask it to do anything you want for you. So those are also very, very powerful. Now right here we have another issue. Another issue. <laughs> These are a, a devil for twins. Okay. So this is a Satan deity that is meant for twins. So you can see that it is into two parts. So there are different ways of worshipping, of sacrificing these two. This deity, this god is called Osu Awu. Osu Awu. Osu Awu. Okay, Osu Awu. Osu Kona, do you want to do it? Come on, do it. Come on, do it. Osu Awu. 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 Osu very, very respected and feared for this culture. Feared.
All right, this is another god, another deity, also very, very popular. In fact, you can see many Nigerians ordinarily using this god to swear. You see that our Shesha Gubek Paini, they do that. So they're very common along with We can see that our um, uh, Alak Barani, Udyon Lumbuju, Unen, Samataman, Samataman, Sanda to do Thunder and lightning. For example, if somebody is struck by thunder and lightning, it's believed that that person was killed by this god. It's a very powerful god. You can see that now. And now, so is a lot of things. And also, red is the color that is attached to this god. To this god. And some of the things that you can use to make sacrifice to this god is that uh, you can use Oroboda's uh, bitter cola for sacrifices. You can use ram for sacrifices. But the main thing that you can use that is against red is oil. using uh, red oil and now uh, cola nuts. Go. Okay. All right. This god here is called Oshalale. Only back me. It's called Oshalale. What does that mean? That out. It's a god that is protecting the land. It's a very powerful god also that is meant to uh, to offer protection to every pre every person living in that town. And now, uh, once there's somebody that is causing problem for the for the community, people will come here. They will make sacrifice to this god, and they will ask this god to go and punish the person. It's widely it is widely feared in Yoruba culture. This we have this water right here. This water can be used to attack someone. Once the sacrifice is made, it's believed that that person is living in that town, living in that town, this water can affect them. It's also very, very powerful. So, these are not the only gods that we have, but these are the very popular ones. We have hundreds of gods in Yoruba language, in Yoruba culture, but these are the very, very popular ones that we have. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll surely go through your questions, whatever you have. For my patrons, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. Without you, all this will not be possible. That's why I'm setting out of the sun. This is the only time that I can do it. Thank you for watching.